Stardew Valley has a new desert festival. Here's everything you need to know. This festival has a special currency, the Calico Egg. This is what you'll use to buy items from the festival merchants, and it's what you'll be rewarded with for the festival minigames. Speaking of minigames, the Skull Caverns Challenge is the biggest minigame for this festival. It's ran by the Adventurers Guild, and it changes quite a few things. First, there's a new ore, and when you break it, you'll get Calico Eggs, but that's simple. There's also new cat statues, and every time you interact with one, you'll be given an effect that can be good, bad, or nothing at all. My favorite effect was more ghosts. The reward for activating the cat statue is an increase to your egg level. Egg level increases for every 5 levels you reach in the Skull Caverns, and it acts as your score for the actual minigame. Once you finish in the mines, you can talk to the wheelchair guy, and he'll reward you with calico eggs depending on your egg level. You can also talk to this guy to activate challenges like reaching a certain depth or slaying a certain number of serpents. That's not the only minigame though. There's also the critter race where you can bet on which small critter you think will win the race. You might think you have an equal 1-3 to three chance, but if you head to Sandy's shop, you can actually find a guy that will fix the race, guaranteeing that one of the racers loses. If you head all the way down, you'll find the Cactus Man. The Cactus Man will reward you with the cactus, then does nothing else. The Desert Festival Chef will fix you a number of foods. He'll first ask you what food you like best, then what topping you want. Depending on what you choose, you'll get a number of different buffs. But what festival would be complete without shops? The first festival shop is ran by this mysterious man. You can buy furnitures, mystery crates, and a few other things. And it's kinda neat. But the other shop is ran by Harvey and George. What's interesting about this shop is it changes between the days of the festival. Day 1 is ran by Harvey and George, Day 2 is ran by Sebastian and Elliot, and Day 3 is ran by Maru and Clint. During this festival, select NPCs will actually sell their NPC weapons. Before, these weapons were completely unobtainable, so it's cool to see these get used officially in the game. One of the craziest festival activities is Emily's cardboard box. When you enter the box, she'll dance to read your aura, enter the box, do something weird to you, then give you a special outfit, and these outfits can be pretty crazy. The next minigame is Willy's Fishing Quest. Upon arriving to the festival, you'll find a sign and see that Willy has asked you to catch three sandfish. This challenge is an extremely good use for the challenge bait. Challenge bait is a new item that allows you to catch three fish at once if you get a perfect catch, which you can see me do here. On day two, Willy will ask you to catch a scorpion fish, and on day three, you'll be tasked with finding Willy's rare golden bobber out of a treasure chest. The traveling merchant and desert merchant are also here, but their shop are the same as normal. Other than that, we have the medical tent featuring Harvey, the Quizlord's quiz, the teleport guy, and this flamingo.